Hello and welcome to Access U TV. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am going to be playing with that earth concept again. Um, you may have seen my previous video where I did a little tiny canvas and um, it didn't look like earth and I couldn't get it to be perfectly round and oh, I went into uh, the wrongness of it and um, a beautiful, beautiful being said to me at, um, in one of the comments that um, that before Earth started to separate, um, I can't remember what he said, I'm just looking for the comment now, um, before when all the continents were all stuck together, it kind of looked like what my painting looked like. So. Um, so that was that was kind of cool. I was like, oh yeah, good point. There we go. Mr. Sirius. Sirius. Um, ancient Earth had a single continent called Pangaea. So um, maybe that other one looked like Pangaea before I tipped it off the side. Um, so how do you get it round? You do it on a record. That makes it super easy. Um, I've kind of, I've scratched off the sticker because I'm actually doing it on the other side of this one this one the coloring of the sticker came through and distorted the white in the middle I wasn't overly fussed with the result of that one so I'm doing it on the other side see what we can do um, I've just started putting a little bit of white on just to kind of create I don't know something some uh, for it to move more easy is probably the reason and justification for this um I was playing is really I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie I was playing I was in a meeting and I was waiting for the meeting to finish and I was mixing paints while I was in the meeting yeah the joy of internet meetings they, without the video they can't see what you're doing so I was mixing paint and playing um while I was waiting. How's it get any better than that? So I have, once again, I have my dark brown, my copper, and my um, yellow ochre as my land colours. And then, so, and then we have, as greens, we have, um, this is metallic emerald green. We have Reeves light green. And um, I'm not gonna not gonna put the other green that I've got in it because I don't want it there. <laughs> I'm just paying paying sad sad mouths at that. Blues we have Reeves Cobalt Blue. Reeves Halo Blue and we have the I think it's called Ice Metallic from Deco Art so the two metallics are from both from Deco Art and then I've got some Reeves White which is what I've been playing with on here which I've only just mixed up so it's got a few bubbles in all my paints are mixed with Floetrol and water and I reckon we probably need most of a cup. Probably about up to about there is my estimation. And who knows what's going to happen. So let's get adding these things to the cup. And um, I've been asked not to have my hand directly under the camera when filling my cup so hopefully this is not enough of an angle to give you that i do want clouds on the top so we need white on the bottom because whatever comes out whatever is on the bottom comes out on the top so that's going in first um the other thing i want a lot of is i do want a lot of the blue um because you know the sea it's kind of quite prominent in our land mass called planet earth 
I have children playing around outside, so if you hear them going bang bang and running around screaming, that's what's going on. It's not. I'm not in a war zone, officially. Just a children war zone. So, what comes next? Let's have some green. Let's keep the greens together where possible. Um, a little dollop of the brown, dark brown. It's copper. And let's go around again. Um, some more white. Who knows what this is going to come out like. You guys have got as good a guess as I do. Um, and I'm willing to allow it to be whatever it be this time. I'm not going to judge it for not looking like the earth. But I do desire to have some portions that look like land and some portions that look like sea that would be really nice um, the cups looking gorgeous uh, and let's go again with the green Ooh, where's my scraper for green that one will do the last of that in. It's got lots of yummy metallic green in there. And the last of my light green, and that literally is the last of my light green. I'm going to have to go hunt it out because the shop that I normally get it from does not have any. So Another tiny drop of dark brown, copper, and yellow okra. There we go. Now, let's get those all out of the way. Because you've seen me do it before. Make a mess. Get it all in my, in my paints. So, here we go. There's our cup. And let's straighten you up so you can better what I'm actually doing and so I'm going to with my cleanest hand pick up the record oh, I might just do a uh, quick flip ready set go oops came out the side oh well it looks cool. I'll show you that. It looks pretty cool already. Just what splashed out. I think I've probably got way too much paint actually. To be really honest, this is not something I've perfected is the amount of paint that you require. Let's see what shows up. Wow. That's cool. <laughs> Even the cup is cool. I love cups. All right. After that experiment I did with the chroma krill and then using the skin for um, my nails. <laughs> if you haven't seen those videos, um, have a look in my uh, in my channel. They are all there. This doesn't look like the planet at all, but it looks awesome. I think it's fabulous. Check that out, guys. Just going to run it right over the edges. I've got plenty of paint and plenty of awesomeness. How does it get any better than that? Look at all that copper through the center there. Oh, yummy. I am going to get the torch and see what shows up. Let's see if we can make sure that's there and see if we can line it 
Oh no, lightning, lightning, it looks hideous. Okay. So, when you're using the torch, like, get, see how the flame is there, and just bring your hand in. My hand's just there and it's warm. So that's how far I want it to be away from um, from the paint so that it's just warming the paint. Alright, not, oops, my hand's dripping into it. So we're just warming the paint, bringing any silicon that's in there to the top, causing a little bit of air movement to pop any bubbles. But just staying well enough away so that it doesn't burn the paint like you may have seen in the triangle one that I posted a couple of days ago. The one that looks like a triangle rose. Um, wow. Once again, I do not have planet Earth, but wow, I love that. So, let's get you down and show you the details. I'm seeing that um, it is still actually developing, which is super cool. But I love it. Like this, is, this is the sort of thing that makes a fantastic clock. So, let's get you down and show you. Alright. Yum, yum, yum. What would it take for my phone to stay in focus for you guys? So we've got some really cool looking eyes in the middle there. Check them out. Don't need a light. But lots of layers in the paint. So as the silicon bubbles up through the paint, it shows you these different... That one looks like a cut in the side of a, a hill showing you the layers of the hill. Oh, it's getting better. Yummy! Oh, so many different possibilities in here. That blue almost to white. That's so cool and it's right next to... You know what would have been really cool in here? Orange. What looks like orange here is actually the copper. The way the light is catching the copper. Is displaying it as orange. Uh, let's see if I can get it to actually look like copper. No, it's not going to. But I reckon a shot of orange in here would have been fabulous. Oh, I love it. Look, there's the little drip that came off my glove. Right there in the center it looks pretty even though it's a drip <laughs> so there you go if you're a drip it doesn't mean you're wrong how many of you were made wrong for being a drip at school <laughs> behaving like a drip what did that even mean look at all those little bits inside that copper that's cool I am looking forward to this one drying. So I think my next video I'm going to put some what they look like once they were dry um, at the beginning of it. So you guys can check out some of what, what some of the past videos look like once they dried. And um, what would it take for this one to look as good as this or even better once it's dried. So thanks so much for joining me at Mickey Art and if you like the video if you want to know more check out my other videos subscribe um, and come play uh, I'd love to see what you're creating I love I love watching on some of the Facebook groups I'm on and if you've got any questions post them in the comments and I love to answer those for you in future videos as well as in the right written comment responses. How did I get so lucky to have you guys watching my videos? Thank you so much. Have fun and what else is possible? And are you willing to allow it to turn out totally different 
the more you throw the wood. Bye-bye.